but not for long. Next up were my worries about the children. When I was talking to Prince one day, he said to me that uh, he, he didn't have a mother. He said he didn't have a mother? Yeah, I said, Prince, where's your mummy? And he said, I haven't got a mother. That's right. D did you tell him to say that? No. What do you think he means when he says, I haven't got a mother? Like he said, he didn't have a mother. Do you not think, though, that your children would benefit from contact with their mother? No, because she doesn't... Uh, it's private information. She doesn't... She's, she, she can't handle it. She can't handle her own children? She'd prefer them be with me than with her. Did you know that she didn't want to have relationships with the children when you married her? Yeah. <clears throat> she did it for me. She did it for me. So just so that I understand this correctly... She's a wonderful person, too. She, she knew that Michael Jackson loves children. Yeah. And she knew that Michael Jackson wanted children. That's why. And she, she said, was... you need to be a daddy. Right. She said you needed to be a daddy. Mm hmm More than she needed to be a mother. Yeah. And she wanted to do that for me as a present. As a present? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? It's a gift. I used to walk around holding baby dolls. Really? Yeah, because I wanted children so badly. What you've just said is that your wife gave you two children as a present because she knew you wanted to be a father. Yeah, that's a lovely gesture. Well, it's an incredible gesture. Yeah, there are surrogate mothers who do that every day. That happens every day in the world. Is that how... It's happening right now. Is that how Blanket was born as well? I used a surrogate mother on my own sperm cells... I had my own sperm cells and my other two children. They're all my children, but I used a surrogate mother, and uh, she doesn't know me, I don't know her, and uh, that's how I was born. How did you select the mother out of interest? It didn't matter to me, as long as she was healthy. Did you... I didn't care what race, I said, as long as she's healthy and she doesn't have eye, you know, she, her vision's good, and her intellect, I want to, you know, I want to know how intelligent she is. Would you have had... Would you, have, would you have conceived a child with a black woman? Of course. As a surrogate mother? Of course. But I've seen Blanket, and I think safe to say his mother was probably white. Would no, you... you're wrong. I'm wrong? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So Blanket's mother's black? Yeah. But Blanket's so light. Black people were called coloured people because we come in all colours, from very white as white as my hand, to very dark. It's the dark of your shirt. My father had blue eyes, you know, and, um, and when they see Paris, they always think, Debbie, but that, that could easily be my father's genes, you know. Really? Of course. So when do you think you're going to have your next child? I wish I could have it today. Really? I was thinking about adopting two kids from each continent around the world. Really? Yeah. Boy and a girl. From, from each every continent. continent. On every continent. That's my dream. And he deserved all the joys of life as And so it was that we came back to our meeting at Neverland with 12 year old Gavin. I'd found this easily the most disturbing moment of the past eight months. But, you know, some have. And they say, is that really appropriate? When you're talking about children, we met Gavin. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a great privilege to meet Gavin because he's, yeah. he's had a lot of suffering in his life. Yeah. When Gavin was there, he talked about the fact that he shares your bedroom. Yes. Can you understand why people would worry about that? Because they're ignorant. But is it really appropriate for a 44-year-old man to share a bedroom with a child who is not related to him at all? That's a beautiful thing. That's, that's not a worrying thing? Why should it be worrying? Who's the criminal? Who's, who's Jack the Ripper in the room? <laughs> this is a guy trying to help heal a child. I'm sleeping in a sleeping bag on the floor. I gave him the bed, because he has a brother named Star. So him and Star took the bed, and I'm on the floor in the sleeping bag. Did you ever sleep in the bed with them? No. But I have slept in the bed with many children. I sleep in the bed with all of them. When Macaulay Culkin were little, 
Kiri, Kieran Culkin would sleep on this side. Macaulay Cook is on this side. His sister's in there. We're all just jamming the bed. Then we wake up like dawn and go in the hot air balloon. You know, we would, we have the footage. We I have all that footage. But is that right, Michael? It's very right. It's very loving. That's what the world needs now. More love, more the world. More, the world needs more a heart. the world needs a man who's forty four sleeping no, in a you're bed making with it, children. No, no, you're making it all wrong. Well, well tell me, help me. Because, what's wrong with sharing a love? You, you don't sleep with uh, your kids or some other kid who needs love, who didn't have a no, good childhood. No, no, I don't. I would never dream of sleeping. I would. I would, I would never dream. Because you've never been where I've been mentally. What innocent. do you think people would say if I said, well? I've invited some of my daughter's friends round or my son's friends round and they're going to sleep in the bed with me tonight. That's fine. What do you think their parents would say? If they're wacky, they would say, you can't. But if you're a close family, like your family, you know them well. And, um, and, uh, but, Michael, I wouldn't like my children to sleep in anybody else's bed. Well, I wouldn't mind if I knew the person well and I, like, if I'm very close to Barry Gibb, Paris and Prince can stay with him any time. My children sleep with other people all the time. And you're happy with that? I'm fine with it. They're honest. They're sweet people. They're not Jack the Ripper. I suppose the problem for many people is what happened in 1993 or what didn't happen. What didn't happen. Just cast your mind back. What was that like when you first heard the allegations that were being made against you? It was shocking, and I'm not allowed to talk about this by way of law. So, no, but, but how did you feel about what was being said? I'm not asking you to talk about what was said. I was shocked because um, God knows in my heart how much I adore children. <laughs> but isn't that precisely the problem, that when you actually invite children into your bed, you never know what's going to happen? But when you say bed, you're thinking sexual. They make that sexual. It's not sexual. But we're going to sleep. I tuck them in. We put. I put a little like uh, music on and a little storytelling. I read a book. It's very sweet. We put the fireplace on. We give them hot milk. You know, we have little cookies. It's very charming. Very sweet. Sure. It's what the whole world should do. The reason that's been given for why you didn't go to jail was because you reached a financial settlement with the family. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do a long, drawn-out thing on TV like O.J. and all that stupid stuff. And it, would, it wouldn't look right. I just said, look, get this over with. I want to go on with my life. It's just ridiculous. I've had enough. Go. I questioned him much further, but the confidentiality agreement he signed means we cannot show that part of the interview. My questions had upset him deeply.